All right, here we go. What a complicated situation I created, but I think it should work. So from the engine, we have a cable that comes down, goes into that switch. That switch allows me to turn on and off the starting battery as well as the auxiliary or house battery. That also allows me to combine the house battery. That's the one that does the fish finders, power pull, or the talon, and all of the electronics in the boat. So off, both batteries are turned off. On, both batteries are turned on. One is powering accessories. One is powering just the motor. And then if that battery to start the motor died, I could combine them, which then acts as a jumper. So I do basically jump the batteries. And then I'm combining both batteries to start the engine. So I should, in theory, have a very low likelihood of being stranded. Okay. So... Then, that is now the starting battery. You can see that there are, um, I don't know if I can keep the light on and do that, but essentially that is, that cable right there is going to the motor, and that cable right there, coming back, is going to the, um, uh, ACR, which is the automatic charge relay. And then that little one in the back goes to a single onboard charger that charges the starting battery. And then you'll see the same in the, the, uh, the negative. So you have a negative going to the battery or to the engine. You have a negative going to the charger and then you have a jumper negative coming from here to here so that when they combine, you're charging both batteries at the same time. Okay, so that brings me to the ACR. That device, essentially you'll see these two big cables coming off of there, two gauge cables. They are going to be positive here and the positive there. So what happens is when the motor is charging, that battery, the starting battery, starts getting 50 amps of power to bring it to 13.5 volts. So as long as that battery is at 13.5 volts for five seconds, it's gonna combine that battery, which is running the electronics, and that battery, which is dedicated to starting the motor. And it will then fill that battery essentially, think about water, fills that battery, 13.5 volts, connects it to that one, starts charging. Once that battery hits 13.5 volts and the ignition is on, then that back there DC alternator okay is going to turn on and it will start charging the two trolling motor batteries so first fill that battery get it to 13.5 volts that battery gets to 13.5 volts that DC alternator is going to turn on and charge those two trolling motor batteries and then when I get home, I plug in to that new port that I put in, which is, I don't know if you can see, but there's a plug there and there's a plug there. This plug right here runs that charger. That charger charges the starting battery. The other plug right there turns on that 10 by three, which charges the trolling motor batteries and the house battery or the accessory battery 
So in theory, again, I can turn off everything. I can combine them so that these two batteries are able to charge or start the motor if you ever got in that situation, very rare. Uh, yeah, so, oh, and then I put in that, which is a uh, 60 amp fuse for the elect the electronics. So essentially, if there was ever a case where the uh, power started coming through that little line right there, um, that 60 amp fuse would blow. So um, you can see, I don't know if I can do it, but mission protected. Let's see if I can touch it. So it's just like a, a GFI. So boom, that's what happens. This breaks, it's essentially a, a fuse that you can, uh, if you're on the water, this fuse will go. If it goes, now it's back on. You can hear things turning on when that happened. So, damn. Pretty cool, pretty complicated. Hope I don't blow myself up.